Okay, so this is our crawfish pot truck. It's an older shape um, that we have on the website. And I got a jump start on this before I realized I wasn't recording. So I painted the truck first off with a, uh, I think it was a Gulf Blue from Dixie Bell Paint. And whenever I paint trucks, I always start with the truck base first, just because it's the it's what lays underneath everything else. Um, if you think about it, it's under the window, under the mirrors, under the pot, under the tailgate. So um, when I'm doing a truck, I like to shade around everything with a darker color. Like um, I think I used a caviar and just went around the edges of the mirror and the pot and the edges of the fenders and all of that. Um, so then I came in with a driftwood color on the pot here. And I'm going to shade it also with ca uh, caviar. And I use Savannah Mist on the back window and the mirrors. I'm also using driftwood on the bumper. It's my favorite gray of all the Dixie Belle grays. I'm adding just a little bit of uh, watered down caviar to give the pot that, that uh, metal look. And I always add caviar strip to the top and bottom of the bumper. And then a lighter strip across the center of the bumper so that it gives it a rounded look. Uh, I'm going to paint the tires with caviar. It's mixing in. I like to blend all my colors, so I'm not a stickler about using different brushes for different colors. I think the blended option looks really good. I'm adding a lighter strip to the pot to give, a, give it that shiny metal look. Something you can create with just highlights and lowlights. Um, then I think I went ahead and did highlights all over the truck. Just using some white here. Basically when you're highlighting, you want to highlight the things that you think the sun would touch. So picture the sun shining on it and what would be above and below the light mark is where you would highlight in low light. And by low light, I mean like blend the darker colors in just to give it more of a 3D look. Let's see. Looks like I'm just creating some darker lines around it. To give it more of a real look now i'm going to come in and this square shape um beside the crawfish or the crawdad or lobster or whatever he is <laughs> i'm gonna paint i decided that that was corn i wasn't sure i didn't make this shape um i'm painting honky tonk red on the crawfish here just giving them a good coat and i made this circle a potato and the square corn so I'm just going to fill in all the little crawfish lobster things here. I really, I'm not a seafood eater, so I don't really know which it is. I thought crawfish were a lot smaller, so it made me think they were lobsters, but it is a crawfish pot, so who knows. I'm painting all of that with a honky-tonk red and wipes a little bit up you can use a wet wipe or a baby wipe i like to paint these fast so that my paint blends and it doesn't have time to sit and dry i put putty on that potato and i'm putting uh, kernel mustard which is a darker yellow on the piece of corn underneath um, start with your darker colors under your lighter colors and i'm just going to come back and highlight with a little bit of white on these little lobsters crawfish to give them some dimension. Any light through the center of a shape and dark on the edges is gonna give a rounded look. Just keep that in mind. Dark on the edges, light in the middle. And you'll get a good rounded look. And I just dabbed daisy yellow onto this piece of corn. And it completely went from a square to a piece of corn. And when it dries, I'm gonna come back with my little marker and just do some squiggles, like not make uh, huge lines or anything. And it's really gonna give it that corn look because it's not perfect. Drying it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in with my marker. I used the uh, fat marker on the outside edges and the thin marker for the pot. I love my thin marker. I, when I'm doing these little lines, like I am not getting into the grooves. I'm just going kind of right beside them. It's not all the way like outlining specifically. And it just has to be a barely outline. It does not have to be, you know, every single space filled in because your eyes are going to read it. 
um, they're going to read the line whether it's there or not. So I went ahead and did the center stuff first so that I can move outwards. I'm going to do my window and my pot with this little short marker, thin marker, it's not short. Um, let's see. I think I did my window. Yeah, I did my window and my mirrors too. Just makes it pop a little bit. You could write something on that pot if you wanted to. Um, oh yeah, I realized that I hadn't done my tail lights. You could write uh, welcome or I think we have a pot that says laissez le bon temps, let the good times roll, roulez, yeah. Uh, see how I did those squiggles around the corn? It's not like a whole grid that I mapped out there. I'm going to use my fat marker now to outline the truck. Really just bring it out. This is a cute truck. I really like it. Adorable. There it is.